Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be switching out my tray for the month of April. So here are the fragrances from my March tray. I believe I did declutter one or two from this tray that I'm still kind of iffy about because I wasn't really feeling them when I wore them. As far as my most used scents for this month, you can always check out my monthly favorite videos and that is where I show the fragrances that I loved for that particular month. So as you can see, Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce Rose got a ton of use this month and I just love it. It's very easy to wear and I love the peachy and apple notes in this one. I also have been loving the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Also oh Sweet and my Terra di Gioia from Giorgio Armani is another one that I have been loving a ton. So I'm going to go ahead and empty out my tray and we are going to get started on adding the fragrances for April. So last month I kind of focused on making the tray one specific color This month I have two different goals with the tray So the first one is I'm going to be adding new fragrances that I have either purchased or have gotten sent to me And then the other thing I'm also going to be doing is adding a few fragrances that have a pretty significant dent on them And I'm trying to use up fragrances as much as I can because in the back of my mind I know that in about a year I have to leave Puerto Rico and I can't send my fragrances with the move so the fragrances that I do take are going to have to go in my luggage and there's no way that I can take over a hundred perfumes I mean I'm, I can but I just don't want to do that so I have to start using a lot of my fragrances and I also have to downsize my collection little by little even though I love fragrances and I would love to have a ton of them but I do need to get it down to a size that is easy for me to take with me and then once I go back to the states then I won't have so much of a worry as to how many fragrances I own so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and start with this tray the first fragrance I'm going to add to this tray is going to be Maison Francis Kirk Dijon and this is Gentle Fluidity Gold this was sent over to me from Twisted Lily and I am obsessed with it and I just want to wear it some more. So this is going to be the first one that I put on the tray. Next up, I'm going to be adding Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. And this is one that I purchased and I just want to start wearing it more just to get a feel for this fragrance, how I feel about it once I wear it because fragrances tend to be so different when you test them out on your hand or skin or paper strip and versus when you actually wear them. Sometimes they give like a totally different vibe. So I'm excited to play around with this scent. Next up, I'm going to be adding Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I purchased this one not too long ago. This is a very nice, clean scent without smelling too soapy. And I just think that it's beautiful. It's just super fresh, but then it still has like a little bit of sweetness to it. And I just love it so much. It reminds me kind of like of the Biolage hair gel. It's just a scent that that's what it reminds me of. And I just love this one for Every day, just jeans and a white t-shirt, just washed your hair, you pulled it back nice and sleek and you just want to smell very clean and fresh. This is perfect for that. Next up, I'm going to be adding Giorgio Armani C Passione e Plat. I recently reviewed this fragrance and I want to wear it more. This one is like a lighter version of the C Passione the either the Cipacione original or the Cipacione intense this one's more like an airy easier to wear 
version of that and some days I actually prefer that so I'm really really excited for this one I'm also going to be adding C Fiori just because it's springtime this is beautiful girly it just smells so flirty and fun and creamy at the same time this one is just so beautiful Next up, I'm going to be adding Clean Reserve, and this is Radiant Nectar. I haven't worn this baby in a while, and this is such a beautiful fragrance. One of my favorites, beautiful pear. It is, to me, better than God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. It's kind of in the same, it's the same vibes, but just this one, to me, just, it hits better for me so this one is going to be on the tray all right so next up i'm going to start talking about some of the ones that have dents on them that i want to go through so the first one is versace and this one is eros pour femme this is the edt version and as you can see it has a pretty big dent there's not too much left in here so i'm going to try and work my way through this one and I am also going to be adding Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This one is a little, this is less than one ounce. So this is a very small bottle and it has a pretty good dent in this one as well. So I want to work through these two. I am bringing out the fresh, juicy fragrances this month. I am so excited to wear them. So the next two fragrances I have not worn since last spring and summer, and I am just so excited to bring them out. I'm starting to notice that I might be more of a fresh perfume type of person. I love fresh fragrances and also sweet fragrances. I've been noticing that when a fragrance is way too fruity, sometimes I just kind of get sick of those in the long run so i end up changing my mind about them but when it comes to fresh scents i just never get tired of them so the first one is aqua di joya and this one also has a pretty good dent so once i work through this one i won't repurchase until we move but this one's such a good one to have there's mint in this one it's very refreshing perfect for every day and I'm also going to be adding Ocean de Joya, which is the most beautiful pear. But then you also get like this ocean type of vibe. The name is perfect for it. It's just very, it reminds me of a day in maybe like a boat and you're getting like the breeze from the ocean. But then it has that sweetness from the pear. So this one's another beautiful fragrance. Next up, I'm going to be adding two Chanel fragrances. The first one is going to be Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. And this one has a little bit of a dent in this one as well. This is a one ounce bottle. So I do want to work through this one as much as I can as well. And I also will be adding Chance Eau Vive, which is another one of my favorites from this line. So beautiful and perfect for hot weather and for everyday wear. Up next, I'm going to be adding Trusardi Donna. I got this one last year and I did wear it a couple times, but I do want to wear it more this spring and summer. I remember loving it so, so much. So I am excited to bring this one out again and give it some use. I am going to add three celebrity fragrances. So the first one I'm going to add is Paris Hilton Eris, which I featured in my high school fragrances video. And this just reminds me of bubblegum. It's a little bit fizzy and it's just so beautiful, bright and sweet and just fun. The next celebrity fragrance is going to be Ari by Ariana Grande. I didn't really have plans to put this one on the tray, but then I gave it a little sniff while I was going through my fragrances and I just had to put it out because I love, love, love this fragrance. It is just one of my all time favorites.
Next up, I'm going to be adding Ariana Grande's Thank You Next, which this one is one that people either love or hate. For me, this is an absolute love. I usually wear it more towards the summer, but I kind of just want to wear it right now because it's already pretty hot here in Puerto Rico. So can't wait to wear this beautiful musky coconut sweet fragrance. Next up, I'm going to be adding Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I just want to wear this one a little bit more. Love the peach and the sweetness in this one and just can't wait to wear it again. I'm also going to be adding Victor and Rolf Bonbon bon because I also love the peach that this one has. It's a little bit more sweet to me. I believe this one has caramel. So it's just really, really nice. And I haven't worn this one in a while. Um, so yeah, I want to work through this one as well. Next, I'm going to be adding Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. Perfect for springtime. It just has to be out for me. I love the apple in this one. It's more grown to me. It's still playful, flirty, and fun, but it still feels like a grown woman to me. So I really, really love this scent. I'm going to add Floral Street Wonderland Peony. I just love the cotton candy sweet vibes that this gives. It also has guava, which is one of my favorite notes and perfect, perfect for springtime. Next up is another good fresh fragrance and this is Versace Versense. I have not worn this one since last year as well so I am super excited to wear this one again. To me this one's just very fresh, bright, just so so good. Next up, I'm going to be adding Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. Beautiful, beautiful pear fragrance. Haven't worn this one in forever either. So I'm super excited to wear this one and yeah, I just cannot wait. I also was missing my Dior Poison Girl. I haven't worn this one in so long. And this one is one that you can wear year round. I don't think it really has like a season. Uh, it is more of a gourmand, sweet fragrance, but I just missed it. So I'm going to be adding this one. And this is a fragrance that I definitely need to wear more often. This is My Way by Giorgio Armani. I'm going to be adding this one because I definitely need to give this one some more love. And last but not least, I'm going to be adding Reminiscence. And this is Drage. I believe, I don't remember how it was that I was told it was pronounced, but I believe it's dr Drage. And this is a very sweet almond fragrance. I haven't worn it in so long, but it's just, I really like this one for when I'm home or I'm going to go to bed because it's just very sweet, fluffy, comforting, creamy scent. And it's for my almond lovers. This is just so beautiful. All right, guys. So there is the tray for April. It is nice and full and super mixed. There's a little bit of everything. And I just cannot wait to play with these fragrances. Let me know what you think of this tray. And let me know what fragrances you're going to be adding to your tray if you have a monthly tray. And now I am going to show you a few close-ups of the tray. And that is going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Comment down below so that we could chat. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video.